Glory be to God. This is Prophet Joel of the CSJ Maranatha Ministry. I want to welcome all the viewers that you're about to watch this program of the message that you're about to listen to. I thank God for this opportunity and for this platform that the Lord has made available for me to share with you the word of the living God. And I believe this word that you're about to listen will transform and change your life for good. And uh, I invite you to invite someone also to listen to you this word of God because it's life changing. Because God is about to do something glorious into your life. And I believe your life will never be the same again. So tune in and the Lord shall bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. I said I see the glory of God coming. So when you enter some rain, when I'm talking about the realm of fruitfulness and dominion, it is impossible for you to remain the same way you used to be. Ah. Kondo balabasaka. And he came, he did not just save us from sin, but he came to redeem us. That's what redeem, that's when he came to restore us to the place where we used to be. So he took us from the place where we went low. Don't tell the Bible say, when he came, he was so low, so low, so lower than even the angel, including even Satan. Because that was the nature of human being. It was the nature of sin. When you have the nature of sin, you are lower than Satan. You are lower than the angel. You are lower than the demons. That's why you see someone saying, in the name of Jesus, there's no manifestation. Because demons can see, you are lower than them. And you can see the sons of who? Seva. Isn't it? They looked at the demons. And they say, in the name that Paul preached. In the name of Jesus Christ that Paul preached. And they say, Paul we know. And the Jesus we know too. But who are you? So that's when Paul had an identity in the realm of the spirit. Whereby when he said in the name of Jesus, demon sees the identity appear. You can see, when you're going to the airport, you want to travel, you show your passport. When you give the passport, all the things appear. Where you live, how old are you? Everything appears because you are registered. There are some people also, they need to be registered in the kingdom of God. That's what the Bible says. He is a book before God. The book of the book of life. That name shall be written. And whomsoever name shall be there. Shall enter the kingdom of God. In another word. You are already in the kingdom of God. So when you are saying the name of Jesus. Your name is such in the book. They can see your name. Satan bows. Powers bow. Principality bow. And gives way to the name of Jesus. I stand to announce to you. Let everything that has been resisting you in your finances in your business in your marriage i stand in the authority of god i decree and declare let it lose your life 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 oh something is happening let it lose your life in the name of jesus ah i'm sensing a holy anger i don't know but i'm sensing a holy anger there is something taking place as I speak. Aya Maya Santa Maya, Ilan Talamaya Santa Maya, Ilen Debolan Talamalan Talabaya, Ielemo Santa Yan Tarabaya. You'll be looking at things like this, and you look at this in the name of Jesus. I command you, bow, and it shall give way in the name of Jesus. Whoa, watch this. My grandpa in the Lord one day looked at people. He said to them, Watch, I want to show you authority. Because many have power, but not everyone has authority. Satan has power, but has no authority. Because authority is delegated from an office. Someone has to delegate authority over your life. That's why the realm of the spirit, many people can function in power, but few function in authority. Because authority, you have to occupy an office spiritual office you seated Amen. so he was he, he was giving them example he said let me show you after prayer he said tonight i arrest any demons that has been flying any sorcerer that has trying to fly or is trying to fly over here from today they're not going to fly over this place they slept as intercessor all of them they slept in the morning people fell i mean fell people they are fallen around the place naked they're from flying one man made a decree everyone fell. you can see such a person has no authority only on the earth 
has no authority all over the kingdom of darkness even authority in the kingdom of heaven ah mandako santayama limba katula masa sickness does not bow to medicine sickness bow with the spiritual words because the one who injected it it's a demon and the one also supposed to take it out it's a spiritual being that's why any healing that is supposed to take place in the physical must take first place in the spiritual because as sick you are in the body so your spirit also is sick so anything that is supposed to take place in the physical it has to take place first in the spiritual so you can't be a millionaire physically if you're not one spiritually you can't try to take over places if you can't take territory spiritually first <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I see the angel moving here I said I see the angel moving here thank you father sit down let me let me show you something guys so when Jesus come and entered he said you have been buried together with Christ when he died when he died we died when he rose up again we rose together with him isn't it hello hello when we rose he rose up together with with us and the bible says, when we rose up with him we are seated together not standing seated because authority is made also by sitting not by standing <laughs> that's what the bible says. god has entered rest rest that means it's a realm of authority you no longer struggle <laughs> <laughs> You know, you no longer struggle to call things. You no longer struggle to have things. You no longer struggle because you have entered an office, authority place. <laughs> now, the Bible says when you enter rest, you no longer work for things. Things start working for you. <laughs> so that is the realm for every Christian who is a believer who believes in Christ. He's supposed to reach there. You can see that kind of reign where God is calling you. A reign where you can no longer struggle. A reign where all things are supplied to you. That's what the Bible says. All things are mine. And I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthened me. I receive all blessings that Christ has supplied to me according to the riches in glory. So that means all things are mine as long as I can be spiritual. It's like once I enter spiritual, when you are in spirit, you become a spiritual person. You are in the roads whereby all things that are yours, you are simply picking it. Everything. You are not struggling, you are simply picking because you are on the right road. And when we see some people, they close their eyes and then someone say, Oh, let us all be spiritual. Let us be spiritual. Then where have you been? <laughs> Come on, ask your neighbor, where have you been? because you are supposed to be all throughout spiritual the bible said those who are led by the spirit are sons of god so that's been you have been somewhere you have been somewhere you've lost it some of us will just enter kandora bayan talabaya limbro konto suddenly and the spirit of god starts ministering to you because you dwell in the spiritual realm Kaya. Hilamasa. Listen, witches, they dwell so continuously in the spiritual realm. But Christian, they don't. A witch can witch by 1 p.m., but a Christian cannot pray by 1 p.m. He's busy catching money, looking for money. A witch can fly out of his body without a struggle at night, and he comes to bewitch you, and you can't breathe. But you, to pray at night, it's a problem. A witch can transform himself to a something quickly, but you to transform himself <laughs> as a transfiguration, as Christ was transfigured, you it's a problem. 
So that means there is a revelation that you are missing. And yet you are born again. You are supposed to dwell in a higher realm. When you see a Christian drinking, then he has no understanding. He has no understanding of who he has received. That's why they think only Jesus came to save them from sin. No, that's why they will drink. But when you understand this secret, you'll understand that he didn't just save me from sin. But he saved me to take over. Therefore, drinking cannot be. Because the Bible says, a man who drink can never dominate, can never be a leader. But you will be poor. Leaders, they are so far from drinking. They want to take over. They are away from lies because their words are truth. They are powerful. When you lie, whatever you lie will come to pass. Are you seeing that? Hello? So you, became so you become so careful with the word you speak. Because whatever you speak is coming to pass. Because you are dwelling in a higher realm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So when you are seated with Christ in the heavenly place, the Bible says, not above human being. The Bible mentioned above principalities, powers, and the forces of hell. I don't know why you are getting disturbed with the demons of your family. And yet even the Bible has not mentioned about your demons of your family, but principalities. So you fighting the demons of your family is the lowest and lowest and lowest level. For you, you are supposed to conquer principalities and powers and the forces of hell. And when you maintain yourself in the same place, casting out generation curses over your family for 20 years and nothing changed, it's no more generation curses. You are not the problem. You got to understand the principles and the strategy that God desires you to stand as a God, not as a human being anymore. And it is written in John chapter 10, verse 32. The Bible says, or 34, the Bible says, He are gods, isn't it? He are gods. It is written in your law. Jesus speaking, He are gods. So God, Jesus, was speaking to human beings to tell them where they are supposed to be. And yet they are living like human beings. Error. So a God is capable to tell you what is in the past and what is in the future. So my brother, when you encounter someone who can tell you what is in, took place in the past, what took place in the future, and those things come to pass, is not a normal human being. He's not human. He's not human. It is only your own eyes that will lie to you. But the spiritual eye of a person will say this man is not a human. He's a spirit being. He's a spirit being. A man who can see your heart as Jesus. You have entered in the realm of God. He has made you God. Walking with God, you become God. Walking with a snake, you become a snake. Walking with a dog, you become a dog. And also walking with Christ, you become Christ. So the level that God is calling you to be is not a level whereby you should cast out small demons. No. Demons should not be even disturbing you. Ah. Witches. Witches. What? Spending one hour casting a witch. Me. Where? Which demon? Which demon that can take five minutes? Which demon? Who are you sending? Who? Who are you competing with? You're not competing with a flesh man. You are competing with a spirit being. Yes. Who is higher than your power. So in the name of Jesus, come out. So Christian, you got to understand that you need to move out from the place of fear. From the place to see yourself low. But you got to climb to the place where you are taking over what God gave to you. You are going to enter in that family saying in the name of Jesus, no more death. You are going to get in that house and say, no more dryness. You are going to get in that business. You say, from today, I speak fruitfulness. 
oh my god as god said to moses stretch your hands and the water shall be divided i pray as you stretch your hands there shall be miracle in your home as you stretch your hands there shall be fruitfulness as you stretch your hands ah, there shall be power when you stretch your hands there shall be healing hey can you see what i'm seeing now no 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 people of god god is raising people who shall be fruitful here whatever you shall put your hands to do must prosper ah. listen i call it the meme shack anointing when the meme shack anointing get to manifest you get to be fruitful they are aims they are aims they are aims they are aims where you no longer struggle ah. they are aims they are aims and i thank god nigeria got it long time because they got someone who was so strong spiritually and he revealed to them the secrets and that's why nigeria is getting prosperous it's not nothing that the first richest man the black man is in nigeria it's not a mistake it's a spiritual being why he honored the archbishop benson Idausa. in a plane he gave him the space and he declared the world will stand for you since you stood for a man of god that word of that spiritual person has honored a muslim person to be the richest black man all over the world <laughs> jesus so that means there are some words that can come from a spiritual person when they declare over your life like it or not it will come to pass that's why i see some people the worst place they get to rebel and against they're against men of god hey if that man of god is a fake man of god it's okay but if he's a true man of god there are some realm of power and authority you can never enter there are people god has given them authority over gates gates so you reach into a level whereby you're supposed to use that gate and it is that man standing in that gate whomsoever can enter in that gate is the person who owned the grace upon his life that's why sometimes members we don't understand why god connects you with some men of god god can see he owns a gate which you'll need it one day to enter so what the devil does watch this what the devil does when he can see you're almost reaching to your gates to enter he sends people to distract you and when you put your eyes and your ear to distraction oh and you stand against what god is doing to that man you will never enter that gate so that means your level will remain like that forever until the day that man is accepted again in your heart you can see someone just rebel against the spiritual father hey that is his level he will never grow again in another level because that man is an authority he's an authority watch this the Bible said the children of Eli, isn't it? They were misbehaving against their father. And yet, Anne honored the one that people misbehave. He came and honored the man of God. And when Samuel was birthed, Samuel served their father, which their own children did not serve. The grace went to the one who served him, but the one who did not serve him was rejected. So that means their children, they could not enter a gate which was for them because they never honor their father anyone who has an authority in your life when you don't honor them be it your father be it your mother be it a spiritual father be it a spiritual mother be it someone just is out on the authority and you never honor <laughs> you can never enter it's not it's not nothing that jesus said honor your father and mother so that you may live long and all that shall be well for you Jesus meant it and God also meant it. Despite, even if they are witches, even if they are witch doctor, that does not concern you. You, your place, honor them. Even from a distance, honor them because it's a spiritual law. I'm supposed to honor them so that I may enter the gates of authority. So I don't understand. The devil now is playing today in this generation 
raising lies against men of God, raising things against such as, and people are joining into it. They don't understand. They are following a wind which is blocking them to enter the gates which they deserve. But I pray by the grace of God, you shall be spared. You shall be spared. I say, you shall be spared. The Bible says, honor, because what you honor, you shall attract. You shall attract. You shall attract. Honor is never difficult until you make it difficult. It is simple to honor men who you can see is higher than you. It's simple. Just respect. And for you to understand that person is spiritual, that person is humble. A humble man, a humble woman is a spiritual person. Because spirituality, you can't achieve greatness if you're not humble. You got to listen to every word. Specifically, if that person is an authority, obey his words. You don't know what he's saying. You don't know. You don't know. Hey, I can tell you a thousand and a thousand of stories and testimonies of things. When God raised you, you can get into a place like this. Ah, oh God. Okay. Yes, Lord. Okay. When you get into some place, I've seen something, but I will speak it. When you get into some place, or maybe you, you travel, you go to an airport, and you come down from that airport. And then suddenly you want to cross in this place, you encounter some difficulty already from the beginning. When you encounter difficulties from the beginning, it is not physical difficulty, it is their spiritual difficulties. Because there are gate spirits that stand on the gates of the nation. Airports, entrance place, ports, they stand there, there are gates, and there are people, and there are spirit beings that stand there to control. I used to have serious complications every time I travel, long time, and I come in, woo! I used to have serious complications. People will just find a way just to take money from me. When I, when I drive, the first time I bought my first car, when I drive, all the time, police arresting me. And we understand, what is this? What is this? That is like five years ago. We are spending money on the police. I'm spending money. Sometimes when I travel, I come. I spend money everywhere. I didn't know that there were powers. They were looking for me. There are people in the gates. They could see this one is coming. We have to arrest him now. Some, they put me in jail which they don't I, they don't know they just some people just came and they took me in a place and they put me in a jail no reason no reason no reason and when they picked me they say mm, you are you a man of God in the car and they, where they were taking me no one knew they were just going so I was just in touch with mama mama these people are taking me somewhere I don't know where suddenly mama appear I told them by texting and they appear with one of my, my son and they appear there and they stop them, what do you want? Oh no, we want money. Give us this amount of money and we release him. They were sent by someone. Hmm? And they came and they picked me, long time. I mean like five years or so. And then suddenly by God's grace, something happened. One among them, they said no, because they were going through the road of Ngongo roads. Like crossing, going to the road on Gong Road, going with me in a small car. So me, I was just interceding. Me, even if today, 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 oh, today. <laughs> interceding and praying. Because they knew who I was. But there was also policemen. But working in different cases. Different places. Suddenly, Mama stood there and said, Okay, I'll give you whatever you want, but just take him to a safe place. They turned their car and they took me to a place. I wonder in the time of history, that is the time people put their attention. But preaching, every mind flies. <laughs> you see demons. <laughs> okay, it's all for another day. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hey, they put me back. 
And then they took me to a place. One guy only took me a place because he was recognized in the police station. So he took me and put me inside. Oh no, we want to check your passport. Let them bring your passport. Ah, if your passport is not right, we are taking you out. I'm like, eh, me, that devil, you'll see. My brother, my mom brought and everything was correct. That's what the Bible says. Give to Caesar what is of Caesar and give to God what is of God. Everything of man was correct. They brought the passport. Everything was correct. And I put it there. They saw. Okay, give us some money. How much? A lot of money. I said, we don't have money. We'll give you this amount of money. I tell you, I walked out of that place. Leaving the place. Without, I knew nothing. No bad. I walked out, but I say, enough is enough. Enough is enough. From that moment, when I encounter my spiritual father, Eh? as an authority by me just being under his covering all these demons broke today today well, to God be the glory I believe the message has been a blessing to your life and I believe God has brought a lot of insight into your life and I believe surely God has done something amazing in your life but I want you to be a part of this wonderful move that God is doing in our midst and you might be there, touched by God. You have listened to this word of God. I believe this word is yours. Don't wait to call. There are numbers there. Call us. Come. If you want to encounter God, come and God shall touch you. Is there any problem that you're encountering? Be it in your business, be it in your finances, be it in your marriage, be it in your ministry, in any area. There is a God I serve and is a living God. He's about to change your life and touch you for good. We are, locat we are located in Likoni Road on Road A of Likoni Road on Road A. We are here on the services of Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And the Lord is going to bless you abundantly. All the services are just there, figury in front of you there. Please call us and be a part of this blessing. And the Lord is going to do amazing things in your life. May God bless you. And I believe this blessing shall be permanent into your life. See you. God bless you.